I wanted to show you examples of pulling in data from websites into Neos VR in order to visualize the data. This here is a simple uh, Node.js application running on Heroku. We grab the base URL and combine it with an address and then use this node to get the string or the results of this. We write that into a string, which ends up looking something like this. This is comma delimited. And then you can write further logics in order to parse this data into three-dimensional objects. This is a more complex example of parsing data from GitHub through a Node.js API in order to uh, parse it into Neos. If we switch over to the look at the back end a little bit, you can see here the basis of this where we're calling uh, a few different API endpoints from my local host, which is just a Node.js application running on my machine. And we can parse out those different pieces of data. So here we'll have the projects, the columns, and then the actual card within those columns. Up above, we have all of the other functions that are running. These ones uh, we can open up and see that they're actually getting just the cards. All that combines into being able to display it on this board. Every year in Neos, we have a world building competition. This is an example of pulling in data from an outside source on a server, parsing it and visualizing it so that we can navigate that data in a more intuitive manner. Here's an example of pulling in tweets in Neos. This is a great example of data visualization created by Archie 001 from a public data source. Each one of these populate to give a real-time analysis of uh, public weather alerts. And you can click them to see that there is a tornado watch here when it's effective and it expires. 